All right, so let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Beyond at this hour. The International Criminal Court's prosecutor is seeking an arrest warrant for the Israeli top leadership and the Hamas leadership amidst the ongoing war in the Gaza Strip. The court's prosecutor, Karim Khan, is seeking an arrest warrant for the sitting Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, on charges of war crimes and crimes against humanity. He's also seeking charges against the sitting Israeli Defense Minister, Yav Gallant, and three Hamas leaders, including the likes of Yahya Sinwar, Mohammed Diev, and Ismail Haniyeh. They've all been accused of war crimes and committing crimes against humanity in the Gaza Strip and in the state of Israel. Starvation of civilians as a method of warfare, willfully causing great suffering, serious injury to body or health or cruel treatment, willful killing or murder, and intentionally directing attacks against a civilian population as well as crimes against humanity of extermination and or murder, persecution and allegations of crimes of committing other inhuman acts. 80 years ago, the Jewish people were defenseless against our enemies, but no more. I repeat what I said at the eve of the Holocaust Memorial Day in Jerusalem. As Prime Minister of Israel, I pledge that no pressure and no decision in any international forum will prevent us from striking those who seek to destroy us. We will bring down Hamas's evil rule and will achieve total victory. Benjamin Netanyahu and his defense minister Yav Gallant at this moment do not face imminent arrest. The ICC chief prosecutor's announcement is a very symbolic blow that deepens the state of Israel's isolation or the onslaught on the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. In recent days, two other members of Netanyahu's war cabinet, Yav Gallant and Benny Gantz, have threatened to resign if Netanyahu does not spell out a clear post-war vision for the Gaza Strip. However, Netanyahu has received wall-to-wall -wall support as politicians across the spectrum have again come together and they've condemned the ICC prosecutor's announcement asking for an arrest warrant against Netanyahu. The announcement of the prosecutor of the ICC is beyond outrageous and shows the extent to which the international judicial system is in danger of collapse. Taken in bad faith, this one-sided move represents a unilateral political step that emboldens terrorists around the world and violates all the basic rules of the court according to the principles of international law, complementarity, and other legal norms. A panel of three judges will now decide whether to issue the arrest warrants and to allow the case to proceed. The judges typically take about two months to make this kind of a decision. International human rights lawyer Amal Clooney served on a five-member expert panel that advised Karim Khan. Amal Clooney has said that the panel had agreed unanimously that there are clear and reasonable grounds to believe that both the Israeli and the Hamas leaders have committed war crimes and crimes against humanity. Hamas, however, has strongly condemned the attempts of the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court to equate the victim with the executioner by issuing arrest warrants against a number of Palestinian resistance leaders. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.